hello how are you guys so today in this video i'm going to talk about uh, probably a question that uh, every one of us uh, is asking whether you know are we finally in a recession right so people were uh, anticipating a recession uh, in the year of 2023 i think uh, so many economists uh, top economists around the world had predicted that there will definitely be an econ a recession in 2023 which didn't happen right uh it was the most anticipated recession perhaps in the modern uh, modern times but it never happened right but are we uh, in a recession or are we going to have a recession uh in the next few months um or few quarters right um, there is already an indication right if you have uh, seen the news uh, coming from the us that in the in the in the job data um you see that uh, there is a sign of recession some people even claim that us is already in the, in the recession uh, we saw that uh, to be accurate for germany uh, a few months back a few quarters back but is that also true for us and as you know us being the biggest economy in the world that has uh, you know wider ramification and that's something to be um, taken very seriously right so i'd like to talk about uh, what that means and whether that really uh, translates into uh, some concern or not right first of all nobody knows actually uh, what's going to happen in the future right if you predict something in the future it's always with uh, a caveat right you can never be 100% sure what's going to happen in the future as i said you know everyone uh, all the top economists around the world were predicting recession for the uh, year 2023 and we saw a glimpse of it in the first quarter of it because of the uh, you know some banks going you know bankrupt and and uh, you know most notably credit swing swiss going bankrupt and few others uh, other banks going bankrupt in the year uh, 2023 but that never translated into a full fledged crisis in fact we saw a uh, much better economic uh, numbers uh, towards the second half of the year right from the us but also from the rest of the world uh, with some exception of, of us and uh, uk and germany and some other european countries the asian and us markets did really really well not just the financial market but even otherwise the real economy also did well <clears throat> right it outperformed the expectation but uh, is that the, the the do we see a reversal happening uh, do we see a real concern going forward um well the thing is that th this concern has come from the you know the the data that we saw from the us labor market and uh, you see a huge impact in the japanese markets because of that uh there is uh yeah if I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you have seen the markets today you know there's a 12% um um decrease in in the nikkei the the market in the in the japan and you see the um you know the yen is trading at uh, i think 20% discount over the last two weeks compared to the U, U, the U, the us dollar and and that's not a good sign other asian markets are also bleeding indian market is not as affected as the other uh, markets in the asia are but you see some uh, global markets as uh, also in um, you know being terrible hit nasdaq being down by about, about almost 8 to 9% over the last one week uh you see that there is a huge downfall in the um, in in the prices of the tech stocks uh the likes of nvidia microsoft apple and and so on uh i saw the news in the financial times that even the banking stocks are also taking a hit uh which was something i was not expecting uh because they were uh, already not performing well but you see there is a downfall of these stocks as well so what's going to happen uh going forward from here on okay so one thing is that one thing for sure is that we have had a really good time in the um in the last uh, few quarters right economically but not just uh, in terms of the real economic growth but also in terms of uh, what we have seen uh, in the financial markets right uh, and the financial market uh, uh, it's it's been good time for last few years already not just few uh, few quarters actually right so you expect something um to happen there right it's it's you know if i've ever studied the field of finance there's something called uh, mean reversion that means something goes up will come down right so if the indexed 
uh, has gone up it will come down eventually for some time uh, it may not be, uh, be the case for very long time but there will be a short term correction so that's something happening it's nothing to worry about um i personally don't worry too much about the labor market data that we have got uh, from the us i think this is uh, more temporary and we are uh, yeah we are uh, too early to predict a recession uh, to be happening obviously people like headlines and that's why you see you know that to be the headline all over the place um, including uh, many places on social media i don't see that as a big concern yet that in in week time uh, uh things things have changed uh, drastically that's that cannot be the case uh, right because two three weeks back people were so optimistic about the economy right recovery and and all of that but within a couple of weeks you see uh, the mood to be exactly the opposite right that's not going to be the case uh, quite uh, i'm quite sure about it that things uh, unless we we uh, see um, more concern coming from you know other uh, economic indicators such as delinquencies uh, defaults and and credit card um, consumer spending etc etc we probably won't be sure whether the situation is actually coming or not right will that also uh, trigger an early rate cut not very sure it uh, people expect that you know there will be a 50 basis point rate cut in the september uh, the month of september uh, too early to predict that nobody knows what's going to happen but uh, potential there will be a rate cut up maybe for sure but i don't expect a 50 basis point uh maybe a 25 basis point uh will be will be the thing right um, um to the emerging markets like india and other emerging markets i think we'll have a spillover no doubt uh, whatever happens in the developed world especially in the us and there will be a spillover but i don't see that to be happening yet uh, already uh, i mean that's going to take some time before we can be very sure about it okay uh, regarding uh, job market where well, it's already very bad actually right it's you know even though we had really good time in the financial market the you know job market was also quite good but we haven't really seen a real growth in the uh, job market actually right job market has been very bad uh since the last two years already and it is going only going to get worse uh in the la- in the next few uh quarters i would say because of the uncertainties and geopolitical uncertainties but also uncertainties around rate cuts and so on so forth right and and in uh the the problem with the job market is that it takes time to recover right it doesn't i mean people don't simply don't go and and hire people right hiring is a very uh, big decision for most firms so they wait and see uh so you know so there is a lag effect so once the economy uh, recovers you see the job market recovering maybe after a couple of months or a couple of quarters even right so it's very unfortunate uh, it i see i feel very sorry about the the students who out there who are looking for jobs the fresh people people who have been laid off in the last few weeks few months few quarters maybe they are in in bad situation i feel really feel bad about them uh, as professional i think we should be vigilant of what's what's happening around us uh, i think it's, it's very important to know that uh, you know uh, it's going to be a tough right at least for the next few quarters and if somebody is having a a job he, he or she must be you know feeling very lucky about it because i think we are going through a tough time a uh, job market regardless of what happens in the financial market in the real economy job market still quite bad uh, and it's not just about the economic uncertainties uh, it's also because of the disruptions happening in the job market right this the ai is actually playing a big part in that you know a lot of jobs are being taken away by ai especially in the tech space but it's going to have an impact in other sectors as well right so uh, you know i think it, it it's also uh, you know i was i graduated in 2008 you know uh, during the time when uh, the the global financial crisis happened in 2008 lehman brother crashed i think just two months after i graduated from university okay so that was one of the toughest time to start your career so i do have the first hand experience of being 
in the job market during the recession right it's it's never easy it's super difficult right no matter where you have studied no matter what kind of skills you have no matter how good you are you can have tough times in in these uh, situations right i have um, i was I, i was talking to a friend of mine who is a headhunter and he was telling me that you know he gets um, like 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 hundreds of cv for every uh, open position not just in india but also elsewhere uh, this is the case right uh, so as a fresh graduate i would highly recommend you to to have patience and not do much worry about things and and you are not uh, alone who is suffering for because of it there are other people who are also suffering so and there is a market cycle you know it's going to bounce back sooner or later it's just as a matter of couple of months or maybe a couple of quarters uh, you need to wait before there is a recovery and then you know then you, if you prepare yourself really well in the meantime you can get the benefit of uh, of the the you know growth in job market later on in 2008 things were really really bad but in it took two to two and half years maybe uh, for the job market uh, recovery to happen and the people who are actually learning a lot during those two years actually benefited from it right but some people did give up for, for instance i remember many people leaving their jobs during 2008 9 crisis not even trying and they even moved to you know smaller towns and and did something else and they were very pessimistic about the it tech industry back then but then those who you know stuck around they they start those who actually you know they, they were you know developing their own skills they they got a very big pay raise during 2010 and 11 when the rebounds happened right so that could potentially happen this time around as well and, and i i am pretty sure that it will happen I, i'm also pretty sure that ai will not be able to disrupt as much as we think i mean the s- disruption will happen but at a much slower pace uh, than everyone thinks it is i mean it, it is going to obviously uh, disrupt some of the jobs for example the coding jobs right you know but uh, but it's certainly not going to displace let's say uh, the the people working in, in in the factories the people working in banks people working in retail uh, firms and so on and so forth i think um, many sectors will st- still be fine uh, except maybe some of these sectors where you have dependency on uh, you know talented people uh, writing code uh, then you know writing code becomes easier so you need less people so that space may be uh, that will get impacted uh, quite so much uh, in 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 short period of time but other sectors will be fine so we have to wait and watch and i think um, um, uh, among other things what i like to emphasize here is that um recession also brings uh, opportunities right um i remember talking about that to my friends uh, who were actually st- uh, struggling mentally during 2008 crisis because we we uh, were we were not many of us didn't have a job many of us were uh, even though i did have a job but we, there was no work to be done so we were very skeptical about our future because people thought okay that's not going to be easy but the thing is it it also bring opportunities uh because that's when you really really push yourself that's when you really um explore new career opportunity had that the crisis not happened i would still be in the it industry by the way you know and and i i think one of the finest thing that has happened to me uh, was that i had to quit the it industry because of the slow growth and i didn't see the opportunities uh, for me uh in that time um and and i moved to the field of finance right so it it, uh, it was a blessing in disguise for me uh, and i'm i'm quite thankful that uh, i did take that decision uh so that's something to keep in mind that you know this is also a time to introspect um and and if you are in a situation that you are either laid off or you're struggling to get a job i think good to evaluate your situation and think what you're good at what you will enjoy in long term and you know just uh, w- doing the uh, things for short term gratification is not the right thing to do i think it's always good to you know think long term and do what you really like really enjoy uh, even if that brings uh, you know less success i think you will still enjoy your career more um, compared to just 
uh, following the trend and doing things what others are doing um, just for the heck of it. All right, this is something I wanted to share with you. Um, yeah, one more thing I wanted to share with you is that how to be like, how to be how to be patient in in these bad times, right? You know, so I think one of the important, most important thing I uh, learned in in two thousand eight financial crisis was that uh, you need to be really good at managing your own money. Um, you know, so if you have make sure that you have a frugal life um you know um i remember not getting a raise i was making like 15000 rupees a month back then and there was hardly any savings you know so me and some of my friends we actually moved to a place where you know it was very cheap to live and you know that that's how we saved a bit of money so i think good to be frugal in these bad times and um I think investing in yourself is one of the finest thing you could, you can do and and uh, you have to be patient you have to be um you you have to uh you don't have to just give up right so all right so that's something i wanted to share with you as always thanks for watching and i'll be making more videos on different economic uh, events going forward so stay tuned thanks for watching guys thanks